What's up guys? So we're doing something a little bit different on my channel. Let's talk about entrepreneurship and social media and basically to help you guys. But what we're going to do is we're going to kind of switch it up a little bit. What we do is we have tequila right here. Mm -hmm. And every time we say the word like, we got to take like a little sip. Okay, so it's going to kind of make it fun. Alright, so anyways y'all, I'm going to introduce you to my best friend, my sister. I'm going to let her introduce herself so you guys know who's on my channel. Hey, hey guys, what's up? My name is New Cynthia, also known as Lu at Lou Cynthia ENT on Instagram. Or Lou from Hip Hop with Lou. I am a comedian, personality, and I also do music reviews. Yes, so I'm really excited to have her on my page, on my channel. She's amazing. She's very inspirational to me. And I honestly wanted to get her on here so she can really talk to you guys, um, give you all insight, but definitely give you in, give those insight who are in the entertainment industry because I'm not, and it's actually very fascinating to me. So, yo. So we've known each other for a minute, bro, and always, like, in high school, she would get us the most drunk, which is a funny thing. So first question, we're going to start with Lou. Uh, first course, where were you born, and where are you based in, What? where do you travel? If you travel, of course you do, but, you know, tell the people. From Las Vegas, Nevada, born and raised. When did you find out you had a passion for the entertainment industry, also reviewing and representing the top artists in today's time? Um... Like a couple years ago, I used to do like this. take a shot. Boom! Oh, I'm tired of playing oh, this game. Oh. I've been waiting, bro. I was like, dang, she ain't gonna say it. I'll throw up. No, you're not. You good? We good, bros. Is that um? So <laughs> that should be good. No, I got it. I got okay. it. <laughs> I'm just scared to say like no. Oh, oh, I told you. <laughs> Yo. Um, okay. So basically. <laughs> I used to do like this little Snapchat ran where I would like play music and then just jokingly go over the bars or whatever. And I was probably like a year. Oh, ago. you said it again. No, I'm not doing the shot. Yeah. You better. Live. I'm not gonna get through the answer. <laughs> I'm not gonna get through. The no, no, you no. Just it, it's not even full, people. You guys, it's not even full. She's good, but like, I'm going to say it a lot. No, so but, well, I'm so y'all ain't gonna get no answers. <laughs> Like for real. <laughs> stop. Stop. Okay, stop. Right. Okay, you got this. I'm telling you, it's not that we like. Dang it. Alright. Just let me get through the first question. Dang. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Alright. Um, I realized I had a passion for it, I would say about a year ago. Um, I used to just play around with it and like break down different bars and then I was like, oh, this is actually kind of fun and I actually kind of know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I've always loved music, like, you know, so I just started, comp I just started, <laughs> I just started, I just, I just started, <laughs> oh, you just, <laughs> okay, wait, so I just started, um, so I just started basically mixing in the music with comedy and it just over time just became like a love. I could be looking through artists for like an hour or mm -hmm. you know artists will find me through me reviewing somebody they knew and then I'll end up checking them out mm -hmm. um and just I always like to like search for new music anyway so it's just I just search for new artists too while I'm doing it. I look at their energy mm -hmm. like that usually sells me right off the bat like their confidence like how they carry themselves whatever obviously like their flow mm -hmm. but I just I don't know I just kind of feel them out first even though it's just like a, watching a video but you can sometimes tell you know a lot mm -hmm. from artists and then if I just feel that connection and that's dope okay I like it now damn like, oh. that's crazy because I just said like yep take it out <laughs> That's funny because you said it. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, trying to make it fair. Like, okay, I can tell. She Man, I'm about to be smacked. Smack him. We'll be fine. We're good. We're quarantined. Um, so my question to you would be, how mm -hmm. do you, being such a big influencer, how do you balance staying present in reality and not getting caught up in all the social media? Or the social media world, I mm -hmm. say. Right. Um, honestly, like... Mm, that's a shot! <laughs> I think that's a shot. <laughs> no! Okay, damn. Mm. Mm. Oh, that was the best idea, but... 
<laughs> okay, so <laughs> for me, to be honest, for I don't feel I shouldn't say how do I say this? I don't really feel like that big of an influencer. Only be but on a scale of like that was two likes. Wait. Alright, I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you Wait, go. I did no Okay. No, we just need to go through the answer and we never gonna finish. Alright, alright. We do, we do, we do, okay. Damn. Influence is influence like number of followers you have compared to your influence. I feel like a lot of people now are more so like I feel like it kind of doesn't matter how much following you have. It does, don't get me wrong, but like your influence, like that can that can do wonders. You have to sometimes take breaks because again, like I look at other curly hair girls yeah. or or makeup artists and I'm like, "Dang, they have like this amount of likes." So they they have this amount of followers and it's like sometimes you are if sometimes you're just as talented as they are you know what i'm saying but unfortunately the world we live in is more so about likes and followers so there it then it makes it kind of hard for us you know because we're like we don't care about the followers but we know other people do so it is also still important you know so i think also though with me i do have to like separate like you said reality from social media and what the way i do that is it's like always like also remaining myself so like sometimes i'll go on there just waking up or i'll go on there with no makeup because i have to be real with myself and i don't want people to mm. think like oh i'm always ready i'm always put together because right. you're not we're we're human like half the time i walk around in sweat you know what i'm saying so it's like uh that's one thing and then uh absolutely like meditation helps so much or like just like having morning time like whether it's prayer whether it's just like anything you know what i'm saying because you need that to stay grounded so i take a shot for all those likes you said Wait, i said a lot of likes this is crazy because i didn't call we'll you just count them off at the end after you get through your question <laughs> uh, my question is what drives you like for me, like, I'm going to say this. For me, knowing you, it's just, like, and, like, getting to know you more and more. You know a person, it's, like, the more you just see so much in them. You know what I'm saying? And, like, you push really hard for various reasons. You know what I'm saying? But I would like to know, like, what like what are your main drives? Uh, well, first, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, I would definitely just say family. Um, just wanted to always be, like, the best version of me um just doing it for the most high um and just love people you know mm -hmm. people like when i get to make people's day or make people laugh or feel good or support mm -hmm. you know like that's literally what drives me you know mm -hmm. seeing my family taken care of and happy and healthy that's what drives me so yeah I love yeah that. mm -hmm. that's dope that's real you gotta take a shot <laughs> <laughs> You was really trying You like how we're all like real sentimental, like damn, that's real. And then we like take a shot though. I'm gonna help you out. Yes, I did take a shot. Okay. Okay. Time does it take for you to run two social media pages? Because you do your makeup and beauty, and then you also have your natural hair hair page. So how much time goes into that? Ooh, honestly, like I feel like half of my time goes into it like yeah. for you know what i'm saying because it's like you gotta think about it's like sometimes i even for be forgetting about like my makeup page i said that so many times that's crazy but it's cool because i'm gonna have to take it after so so, so anyways <laughs> all right so um i would say though half of my time for sure because again we're always thinking of like ideas you know what i'm saying right. at the end of the day it's like that is our platform and that is our uh what's the word i'm looking for advertisement mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like social media is very lucrative so it's like if you treat social media like a job you have no choice but to win you yeah. know what i'm saying so that's how i feel like social media is i know not everyone likes to do it but it is so beneficial like you just really have to sometimes just get up and do it even if you don't feel like it just always know like it's very beneficial you know what i'm saying like and to just think about like the opportunities that we have to like start a business or be right. seen with social media versus you know years ago when they didn't have that it's like you might as why why wouldn't you take advantage of it right. so i would definitely agree with you on that right like, it does get a little hard you gotta take a break sometimes but it's all about balance you know 
as so long as you stay balanced, you will be able to get through it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's a great question like you asked me. Like, I would want to know how you stay balanced as far as social media because, yo, this girl is, she's crazy. Like, with social media, it's insane. I'm like, girl, wait, didn't you post, like, wait, what? But, like, she always stays on top of it. That's what I mean. It's like, she really, like... She be, she be like filming like three or four videos in a day. I'd be like, I need to get on that. So it's like, it's like, it's just funny to see like, again, it's like for me, you're like, not even for me, you're a huge person. You know what I'm saying? Like in entertainment, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, but like, we are so fixated on like, oh, well, likes and, and it's crazy because even like, uh, job applications will be like, how many followers do y'all want? Nigga, nigga, what? Like, what? what? Like, I'm sorry. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. So that's my question for you. What? Balance. You have to take a shot oh. though. <laughs> and you do too. No. <laughs> like you not drinking this, bro? <laughs> no, you my tongue is on fire. Bro. You are not drinking. <gasps> I swear. Right. No, you not. You I on every. No, you not. Cause this is put it on everything. <laughs> Yo, I'm she even, to touch my tongue. No, bro. Oh, you fake. They did this to me on New Year's. Ariana, I still remember. Lil, disrespectful. Okay, I felt that one. You only felt one. This is only. No, that's one. actually my second road shot. You ask. <laughs> I stay balanced by like sometimes I, I literally just take a break. You know, I'll take. You know, maybe even if it's like one or two days, like just taking a break and recenter myself. And then sometimes I do have to remove myself from social media to find inspirations off of social media mm -hmm. so just having like that quiet time um but yeah just and not getting stuck with like scrolling mm -hmm. you know like I right. try to like really like some days you know you get caught up whatever and then I also want to like engage with other people but when it's days where it's like okay you know you've been on social media like all day yesterday mm -hmm. get on get off boom post don't scroll don't look just do your shit and get off. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, sometimes I just take a break. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And it's much needed. Like, we're, we'll both definitely agree on that. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. definitely need to um, take a break from social media. I know it doesn't seem like, a, it, like, oh, a break. Why? But it will definitely do a lot of good. You got a freestyle. Mm -hmm. She a freestyle though, but she trying to play like she not. Five hundred dollars a verse for me. No, just <laughs> being a influencer for natural hair. Do you always feel, or do you feel any pressure with having to always look or be a certain way? Ooh, that's a good question. Cause I, that's so funny you asked that because. <sighs> I used to, for sure. I felt like really, there was a like moment in time, and it's like, I talked to a few people about this and you, you know what I'm saying? And like, there was a moment in time where it's like, I just really like shut down. Cause I was like, bro, like I really cannot do this. You know what I'm saying? Because right. like, you can't always, damn, you can't always, this is the thing, like I love my hair, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I like when my hair is straight. Sometimes I like long hair. Like, there's no problem with that. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like as far as, like, likes and stuff, that's crazy. I'm saying that so many times. So many times. But <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> but it's 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 a subconscious thing. Like, it, whether people want to admit it or not, like, yeah. likes get to you. You know what I'm saying? These things. You know what I'm saying? Because then you're like, what time do I post? Like, what do da 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 And it's like. I notice a huge jump when I wear my hair straight from curly and I can understand that because I have a lot of natural hair uh, people but what I've just learned to do is like it's not about the likes it's what I want to do and if you like it you like it if you don't you don't you know what I'm saying right so it's the same thing I've definitely seen some of her followers get upset when she wears <laughs> some straight hair it's like like that is her hair guys <laughs> right. and I think we're getting a little too attached but you know <laughs> So it's yo girl, it's real. Like she's right. Like there's, I don't think there's certain things. Like people say things, and you don't think it'll get to you, but you're like, all right. But it's it's on the other side as far as hair too, because I've had comments said to me, like, and it's okay, whatever you prefer, that's fine, that's your preference. Right. But I wear my hair uh, curly, so if you see me with a straight wig or a straight hair or whatever or weave or whatever, like don't tell me what your preference is, because clearly, like. I 
I do both, but I'm cur I do curly hair. So it's like, yeah, I think people just have to watch sometimes what they say. Even with that, it's like, I'm very, like, I'm very vocal. So sometimes I have to get vocal with people, and it's still in a respectful way. And I be believe that's definitely... Um, switched people's energy for the good you know what i'm saying yeah. because pe on social media man people get a little crazy because it's social media they and do. you know we don't have time for that so that's we don't but we do have time for you to take a shot because yeah i said like hella times damn mm -hmm. damn wait did i answer your question yeah okay cool i think sometimes i'll be getting with like, a bunch of l words <laughs> 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 you, you, are you funny I can't. That's funny because you're not even really taking real shots. Girl, yes I no, am. No, you're not. Yes. I literally, Whoa. yeah, exactly. I Yo checked. Throw deep. That's no, it ain't. I filled our cup up the same. Because little do you know, I checked the cup before you came in here because I knew it was going to try to pull some shit. And you did. So tell me, a, tell us a little bit about your weekly routine. How do you plan your weeks? Content. Um, usually, I will set aside like three or four days to just strictly film content and edit um so i'll usually be up at like 6 30 in the morning do my you know morning healing get my mind right feel good start the day off right and then i usually start filming content like right after mm -hmm. and i'll just bang out as much content as i have in me at the moment and mm -hmm. sometimes it'll be like from like 9 a.m to like 3 or 4 mm -hmm. um and then the next day I'll probably like set aside to like edit all that content if I wasn't able to get to it. And yeah. That's boss, bro. So it's like for you, how how many how many hours do you think you probably put in for social media? It's Ooh, full time it's though. Lot. Yeah. It's I full time. Like it definitely is. I put mm -hmm. a lot into it. And and what people don't understand is like it's not about just like just content for her page but mm -hmm. like see for me i also like to create content just for my instagram story because mm -hmm. we all know mm -hmm. like people will watch your story and not like your page or anything you actually post on your page so for me i'm just like you gonna see me regardless. Right. so even if it's like little contents or i'll do like little comedy rants or whatever like that all counts because you have to make an influence and like mm -hmm. that's always my goal like mm -hmm. my goal is for my presence to be felt mm -hmm. Yes. When I'm on Instagram. Like, yes. if I go, I like, two, one or two days without posting, like, I want somebody to be able to be like, dang, I haven't yes. seen a new post or I haven't seen anything mm -hmm. like that. And it's like, that's how I always want my presence to feel, you know? So I just try to always keep content from different angles. And I don't know, like, I love doing it. So mm -hmm. it really doesn't feel like a job. It just feels like I'm having fun for, like, hours and hours throughout the day, even though sometimes I'm all sweaty and out of breath. It just reshooting it right. reshooting it but at the end of the day like i have fun you know mm -hmm. doing what i love and just to entertain so yeah that's amazing no i love that that was great you gotta take a shot <laughs> okay 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 i saw okay okay i'm proud i'm proud you really trying to give me that's fine I, that's how you know she really took a shot y'all that's how you know feeling good feeling great i'm full drunk you're not drunk, bro. It's hot. <laughs> Low key, it's a little, it's a little warm. Looking at us. Okay. So, what um, encouraging words or advice would you give to like, you know, smaller influencers or people trying to become an influencer on social media or any pointers, tips, you mm -hmm. know, all that good stuff. So when I first started, it was just supposed to be like a fun page, you know, and so it wasn't on purpose. I feel like. You want to put a lot of thought into your page, don't get me wrong, but you also want to make sure you're just having fun with it at the same right. time. You know what I'm saying? Because if you get caught up in, like, what people want to see, you start losing the essence of who you are. You know what I'm saying? That was, for both of my pages, I had to get back to who I was for both of my pages, my makeup and my natural hair. And for me, it's like, now it's grown into a passion. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I believe that whatever passion you have whatever whatever you're passionate about you're going to succeed because you're passionate so as far as me i would say there's influencers that work with brands that have less than 5k less than 10k you know what i'm saying yeah. and right now it's about influence it's about your reach you know what i'm saying and a lot of people right now are looking for authenticity because you're seeing like a lot of things that are, are fake people are selling sponsoring fake stuff like yeah. for me you know what i'm saying like 
<clears throat> I don't I, if if I don't like a hair company I'm not going to recommend it to you like it's not gonna happen or I will take it off of my page I don't see the point in recommending something that's not gonna work it's the same for my makeup I just don't do false advertisement so that's another thing too like be true to yourself but be, be true to your influencers you know what I'm saying because right. again yes I have for some some people think it, it's a on a certain scale, yes, my following is large, but then on an even bigger scale, for me, I'm like, it's not big, because you're seeing it on a bigger scale, but it's yeah. all how people yeah, look at yeah. it, you feel me? But even with that, for me, I still am like, well, my, 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 the people that follow me that are in my Dope Curls family or in my makeup, you know, family, clientele, I more so pay attention to that, and then I think that those people are gonna start sharing your content, and then eventually it's just gonna come to you, success yeah. is gonna come to you, because... We also have to remember that so many people are successful and they don't even have Instagrams. You know what I'm saying? Like, or they have a smaller following, but they're really successful. Like, I know a lot of makeup artists that have a small following and they're doing some big shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same with um, natural hair. Even though I don't have the biggest following, I have an influence. And like you, you have an influence. That's what people are caring about. That's what brands care about. And so for me, that's the advice I would give. Just stay strong, stay consistent. But also know that following is cool, but it's about influence. It's about if you right. can really get people to trust you. And once you get people to trust you, bruh, they want to tell somebody else. Oh, no, hit up Lou. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What she, she reviewing the best rap artists in the game right now. Like, you got to get her on the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's easy. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. that's my advice for show. What would be yours? Be being consistent and just doing what you want to do with your page. Because, you know... Like you said before, like sometimes you can get caught up in the following, but at the end of the day, like you have to do what makes you happy and what's fun for you. Like for like for me, I think like, you know what? Like, oh, I shouldn't have posted this. Or, and then I'm like, this is my page, mm -hmm. you know, and it's coming from me and it's real. And I feel like people usually end up fucking with like your content or whatever it is that you do even more when they get to mm -hmm. see that authentic side to you. Mm -hmm. And, um... Man, just definitely staying consistent. Even when you feel like people aren't watching you or mm -hmm. supporting you or people don't see you, they do. Trust mm -hmm. me, you know. And and just never doubting yourself based on your following. Like, I don't have the biggest following, but I still treat my page as if I had, like, millions of followers. Like, right. I'm like, I'm not posting on my page because I'm a star. And, you know, my page has to always look professional. And I think that it's important to keep your page professional to to make it go with whatever it is that your brand is you know like me i'm entertainment so i don't really post a, like anything personal on instagram like for for the most part unless it's like comedy but mm -hmm. like i just keep it strictly business i mm -hmm. keep it the same and your page just has to always make sense like mm -hmm. make your page make sense mm -hmm. like when somebody goes to your page they need to be able to tell what it is that you do like People should just be able to see who you are once they go on your page. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that would be my advice. Just staying on top of that shit mm -hmm. at all times. Right, exactly. I know that's the, definitely one thing I want to touch on. Like, your energy is the same every single time. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing that I was talking about earlier. I was like, I need your energy here because it's just like, it's an amazing energy. And it's like, for you, even though we're in different industries, we're still in the same industry. But yeah. It's just from different point of views. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. And so it's like, I feel like we definitely have like learned just from each other because we're like oh okay like are we piggyback off each other or yeah, it's cool yeah. because we have a commonality which is social media and that's one thing that's definitely recommended i think that you could have we all have different friends like we have a whole group and we're all we love each other you know what i'm saying yeah but it's different when it's not different don't get me wrong i'm i think that you should just have somebody if you can have somebody that relate to like whatever you're passionate about i think that's awesome you know what i'm saying because you guys are going to look at things from a different point of view yeah. but it's also gonna, like you'll understand each other's passion yeah right that is super true. Mm -hmm. Because some people just be like, oh my god, you guys just on social media all day. Or like for a YouTuber, like, oh, you're just on YouTube. But it's like, you don't understand like what goes into creating content. Like a lot of people don't understand that. Like it's a lot of our time. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of our energy. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're like coming up and like we do a lot of our, you know, filming by ourselves right now. It goes, that's hours, you know. Mm -hmm. Where some people are chilling. We're up filming a YouTube video or being on social media, like building our brand and, you know, making our influence as to some people who don't really understand that that'll make you feel like they'll make you feel like it's not that important right but you know what i'm saying when you get to talk to other people that understand that it's like 
who is that side of relief it's just right. like oh yes mm -hmm. finally you know and then you guys always give each other pointers like we do all the time mm -hmm. like she'll give me creative ideas i'm like that's so dope and then i'll do it and yeah. you know same though girl what she's the one that like um because i was struggling with my makeup page and uh i called her up and i was like bro like I'm really trying to like figure out what's going on, you know, because I felt like I was getting it in just like a rut where it's like I started just envying other makeup artists, to be real. And you do that. Social media uh, subconsciously makes you do that if you don't, you know, draw back, you know. And so I called her and that's when she was like, you probably should. I don't follow comedians. And the reason why is because I want to stay authentic. Like I think you should explain that, too, because I think that was a perfect point. I try to. Okay, so here's the thing. When you get on social media and, like, you see something, you can, like, unconsciously do something without, you know, realizing that you're even doing it. So, mm -hmm. you know, when I'm coming up with content as a comedian, I have to do something that has not already been done. Mm -hmm. So, in order to make sure, like, I don't just unconsciously mimic something that's already online, like, I just don't follow other comedians. Mm -hmm. I don't, don't get me wrong. Like, I'll still go to their page and, like, mm -hmm. laugh, like, you know, when I'm just having my free social media time, like... But I think it's just, it keeps your thoughts clear. It pushes you to dig deep and figure out what you can come up with that's creative versus seeing, okay, this comedian does this. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm going to do that too. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's nothing wrong with it if it's for you. But I feel like you just fall right into their shadow. And you have to create your own lane. Like, you have to have something that's you. Like, mm -hmm. when people see your content or when people see my comedy, it's like, oh, that's something like that's Lou you know mm -hmm. and then sometimes you will end up doing something that another comedian did like not even knowing but it still makes you feel better knowing that it came from you like right. you thought like what can I do creative like I just like to push myself and find other inspirations that are off of social media because life every day gives you so many inspirations that go off from so sometimes I'll just watch music videos mm -hmm. all day or watch the same old classic movies over and over again or just going through life and I'm like damn, I could turn this situation that I'm dealing with into something creative right. and make it funny, you know? So it's just all about pushing yourself. And then sometimes you get stuck comparing yourselves to other people. Mm -hmm. Like, if I'm following all these comedians that are like, you know, blue check marks, all this stuff, like, you, we're human, you know? Mm -hmm. You're going to feel bad. You're like, dang, right. this person up here and I'm still down here. And, you know, it just starts taking your focus off of what you need to be doing. And, mm -hmm. and it's just tearing you down on the inside slowly. So they're like... You know, maybe if you follow less makeup artists, mm -hmm. you would be able to just look within yourself for creative ideas versus going to all these other different makeup pages because that's their idea. You know, mm -hmm. that came from them. So it's like, push yourself. See what's in you already because mm -hmm. it's already in you. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just got to dig deep and find it. All the ideas and crazy ideas that you want to do makeup wise, it's already in you. Mm -hmm. You know, like what's for us? It's for us. It's for us. Right. You know, so push yourself like get off of line mm -hmm. and just be like fuck what can i come up with you might just look at some random shit on the wall and be like oh, i did you know and it mm -hmm. just feels good knowing that you truly came up with that so that's why i said that not right. to be like you can't support other people that's in your lane because like i said i do like dc fly is one of my favorite comedians on instagram and like i love one of his page like I love comedians in general, mm -hmm. like, I love them, but it's just, like, I need to make sure that I'm not getting lost in what is already being done. Right. But I'm also just weird on social media, too. I do a lot of things that probably don't make sense, like... No, I feel like it all makes sense. It's funny as shit. I be, like, cracking up. I'm, like, crying, like, yo... <laughs> <laughs> bro this is like one of the funniest girls that anybody could ever meet i'm not joking we've been saying this since high school it's not a fucking joke it's some real shit so okay we both have to take a shot only because we both said like so yeah, i put mine in here no you didn't you lying no you didn't this is the last shot because we're literally almost done i swear last shot last shot we're done because we're 28 we don't have time okay you that touched your lips now, what's one thing or the main thing is that you would tell somebody who wants to follow in your footsteps when it comes to the entertainment? Mm. Do it. Just do it. Industry. Do it. Mm. Just do it. No matter how crazy people may make you feel, just fucking do it. Because guess what? People love to be entertained. And if that's what makes you happy, just do it. Don't second guess yourself. Don't go half ass, you know, in it. Just fucking do it. Just do it. Whatever makes you happy and whatever you want to do, do it. Simple. I love that. Simple. Yeah, simple and to the point. Do Nike it. sponsor her, bro. Hey, right just here, do it. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, okay. Oh, anyways, y'all, 
y'all that is it for today we really hope you guys enjoyed i know you guys already enjoyed my sister on the channel so hey y'all <laughs> I'm a curl, I think I'm a seed pattern, like, I can't tell because I got my weave in, but when I take my hair off and I wash it, I think I got like seed curls. So, you know, I like to start from the bottom and, you know, pull from the curls, pull, you know, stretch. Shrinkage is real, ladies. It's real. So... It's funny because she really know, like, y'all, you right, be water, all that. Yes! Uh, literally, every. And she and I was I was going I ain't gonna talk about Diva Curl but they products ain't natural right Oh they they not because mm. I know I know <laughs> you see you see that's the thing like, you just never know like who like our industries they all go together like and we all have just interesting things and honestly like she's been on so many different artists sometimes I'll text her and be like yo can you send me some new music it's like it's real so it's like yes yeah, it's, it's real support and that's the whole that's what this whole thing is about it's about really women supporting women and of course like we just need to do that you know what i'm saying because there's so many women in different fields and the more we come together as a people you know what i'm saying the more we're going to get stuff done so that's definitely why uh we wanted to do this video today and of course drop your instagram and also your youtube um on youtube i am hip hop with Lou. just search that it'll pop up. tiktok right as well my bad um tiktok at Lou's at the ent Instagram also at Lucinthia ENT. Very simple ENT for entertainment. <laughs> Cause hey. That's what I do. You know, I all day, every day. Right, you gotta do coronavirus real quick. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! <laughs> coronavirus! <laughs> Yo, like <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, but make sure you guys you need to definitely support my girl. Honestly, she she's amazing. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, if you need new music, which you do, young money, cash you money. Mm -hmm. Yes, and all the artists out there, the best top artists hit up my girl because she she not only supports artists but she represents artists. She lit. Thanks. That was that was lit. Was that good? You like that? You okay? You okay? All right, we out. <laughs> Don't forget to count how many shots we take because we know we oh, need yeah, to take one. Oh, yeah, take one. I'm not taking them. No just do one more for the. Just. I don't have no more Red Bull camp. Oh, here, I do. You okay. go ahead. I don't got it. I okay. see. I actually in here. You. Come on, because we wasted. No, no, we have to do one more. Get out my cup. Well, that means you didn't take it's the shot. It's coronavirus going around. We <laughs> already said it too close. <laughs> Running your shit if I feel like I ain't had no dope. Huh. These days I'm worried about ice on my neck and how many houses I done sold. Still a put this.